Hello there, YouTube. This is Buckstar Blaster, your favorite War Thunder noob. Am, am I your favorite War Thunder noob? I don't know. Maybe I'm the only War Thunder noob that's putting videos out on YouTube. I guess to say favorite might be a little presumptuous. Today, we're going to be taking out the reserve Soviet fighters, the I-15. So the way they've got them listed here, it's the I-15WR, I-15M22 and the i15r now honestly in my research i didn't see any of these designations actually but basically what this is let's take a look at it this is a russian soviet fighter of the 1930s so you can see we we're we're still at the biplane design concept left over from the earliest fighters in world war one and this thing is armed with four 7.62 by 5.4 machine guns and th the story on this plane is that these things fought in the Spanish Civil War on the side of the Republicans for those of you who aren't familiar with the Spanish Civil War that would be the socialists or communists the ones that were fighting against the forces of Franco and of course the Russians were supporting the Republicans and the Germans were supporting Franco so these planes were going up against the uh, German and Italian biplanes of the time. They, uh, they were, they were also uh, sold to China, and the Chinese nationalists used these against the the Japanese, and they had some success. But eventually, the Japanese came along with some of their more advanced monoplane designs, and this thing began to become outclassed. And by the time the Germans invaded the Soviet Union. It was basically relegated to ground attack role in some second line duty. So, let's go ahead and get ourselves into an arcade battle here, and we'll see how these things fly. Okay, here we are on the Foggy Albion map, and this is a ground strike mission, but I don't think we're going to spend a whole lot of time focusing on ground strikes here. I think I would like to go after some bad guys, some enemy fighters. So we see a BF-110, a Gladiator, another I-15. What else we got? SPD-3, KI-21, HE-51. So okay, we seem to be fairly well matched here. Maybe, maybe we get lucky here and we have some fellow noobs that you can fight against. Let's go after this KI-21 here. What the heck? Oh, he's a bomber. See, I don't know my planes as well as I should. Oh. See, we're not having situational awareness here, and we're not looking around, which I now know how to do. It's the C button for you other noobs out there. And of course, sorely lacking in muscle memory on controls. Alright, well let's take out another I-15, the M22 version. Even in looking at the stats on these, there wasn't really a whole lot of difference. See, there's our look around. Let's go after this BB-1 here. That was horrible. Where is he? There he is. 
There's somebody anyway. Yeah, he's got a rear gunner. shooting at me. And we're reloaded. What do we got going on here? It's coming after us. can out turn this guy. Enemy kill assist. Not doing too good here. The other noobs are not as noobish as I had hoped. One kill assist so far, that's horrible. Well, let's see if we can do better with our next plane. Ah, fellow I-15 got us. So here we go, this is our last plane. HE 112, we don't want to go after him. Or maybe we do. What else we got? Oh, yeah, we want to go after him. We want to help our friend. Hey, we got a kill. Now who's coming to kill us? Scissors. Come on. Ah, oh, mission fail. Well, we got one kill. And a kill assist. So this is fun. Let's play another mission. How did we do? Take a look here on our stats. Yeah, about halfway up the board. Could be worse. Okay. So we will play another mission, stand by. Okay, so here we are on another map. This is the Stalingrad map. Another ground strike mission. Flavor Candy, hmm, what a name. P36, HE-112, PO-17, GAG-21. I want to stay away from people that uh, have rear gunners. P-36 is a fairly agile American fighter. Let's get some altitude. An F-2A. The 
H that Hing one twelve worries me. That's a good point. But it looks like he's coming for us. Mr. Marcello. We'll go for him. Got a swordfish. What else we got? We got some people, some bad guys over there. This is where the fur balls take place. Reload. Here we go. What is with this guy? Did this guy stop to drink some coffee or something? Walk away from his game? What the heck is going on? Alright. Dead. Zoom out. Get some situational awareness going here. Ah! Oh, who the heck just did that? That guy did it. See, we still missed. All right. Well. Boom! Shot down. All right. Yeah, here we go. In the M. New playing here. Trying to learn to pay attention to what the other players are doing. There's an HE 51, that's a fairly good matchup. I-15. Little effort, got a fight going on between an HE-51. Come on. And we are gonna die. Gonna outturn who? Come on, now we're in a. Would this be considered a horizontal scissors? We got one. All right. Don't get cocky. Come 
Nobody behind us. Anybody up above us? There's somebody coming up behind us. Yep. Can we even get a kill assist for that? Alright, come on. Another I-15, a couple of I-15s. Well, there you have it. I think two missions is enough for this video. Get an idea of what these planes are capable of. Well, we got one kill. Hits 20. Accuracy's... I'm, I'm gonna say the accuracy is not real good with these. Of course, as we earn upgrades, that will get better. And where are we at? Eh, kind of middle-ish of the board. So. Ooh, look at that. Some research. So. One last look here, folks, before we sign out. There it is. The I-15. Pretty neat plane. Very maneuverable, I will say that. Any lack of success is certainly due to my lack of skill not the plane itself. Okay, until next time folks, Buckstar Blaster, thanks for watching.